morning y'all it is december 5th and it's actually my mom's birthday so happy birthday mommy i wish her already but if you're watching this happy birthday again mommy um i just put in my invisalign after not wearing it literally ever since i got it taken off so i told myself like i need to wear it like way more often at least like twice a week or something while i'm um sleeping because i do not want to go through this again because if you guys didn't know i did it twice <laughs> so not trying to do it a third time um i look whack because i just got out of bed um i am trying to nurse my skin back to health you guys probably can't really tell but there's just some like little acne stuff all over my face and every time i travel slash like go back to georgia from like a random like stick well not random like when i went to college in orlando and i would go back to georgia my skin would freak out same here i guess so yeah, I kind of freaked out and I wasn't even like on my period like I think I'm getting it next week So that wasn't even like the reason for it breaking out I need to do some cleaning up around here because I have not well if you guys watched the last vlog You would know that I got a new MacBook and I have not opened it yet because I want to film like a unboxing in case i want to do a video on my macbook so comment down below if you guys are interested i don't know how many people of you out there are technology lovers but i am and so i am so excited about getting this new macbook i literally had to back up my old laptop the whole day yesterday it took forever like right when i got home from the airport i plugged in the hard drive and started it and i think it took like overnight it was stupid slow so annoying but it's okay because now i have all day to play with my new laptop but obviously i have to like set it up and put that hard drive back up on my new computer so god knows how long that will take hopefully not another day hopefully that will be a lot faster um but i also have to get my emissions done today because i have to get my car registered in texas which is so annoying every christmas and summer i would drive up my car um since i it wasn't that far away it was like a seven hour eight hour drive um so I would drive up my car and i was able to get the emissions done in georgia for my car registration but there's no way in hell and it's not even worth it to drive my car literally like what 17 16 hours back home just to get my car registered in georgia um so yeah i have to do more big girl things i had to like switch my insurance over to texas insurance so that was just not something i like wanted to do <laughs> and then after i get my car registered here i have to get a texas id and the dmv is like hell on earth i swear that place is not a fun place and i'm literally going to wake up so freaking early and hopefully be the first one there get in get out because i just cannot deal with the line me and ryan went to get his id done and i told him i was like we have to like wake up early and get it done early so that we don't have to wait in line and he didn't listen and we literally waited like over two hours today is just kind of getting back into my routine um i obviously have a lot of work to do i really haven't even edited my thanksgiving vlog or any of these vlogmas vlogs which i uh I'm probably going to do like the first four days all in one vlog because I didn't really vlog since I was at home. Um, but I just kind of wanted to wait to edit them on my new Mac because hopefully, and it better be so much faster. Um, and I'm just really excited about it. So I'm going to clean up my place so I can do that little unboxing clip so that I can open it and actually get it set up. I just filmed an unboxing for my Mac. I haven't really cleaned up that much, but I kind of wanted to just get that started so I can get it restored. It is currently going and it's going pretty fast. So I thought I would just go get my emissions test while it is going. So then when I get back, hopefully it's done and I can play with it and just work and get shit done finally and get it done fast, hopefully. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna go get that done. Apparently it's $18.50 for the emissions test. So I got in my car and I saw there was like a service light on. I think it said like stable track or something like odd like that. I was like, okay, what a coincidence. I'm literally going to get my car checked out and the light comes on. Um, 
and then I texted Ryan like what is this like what does it mean and he of course texted me back right when I was paying for it he was like don't pay for it like it's not the emissions test is not gonna pass um, if a light is on or like anything like that and I was like well damn it cuz I already paid so I was just like hoping for the best and thank God it passed like when he got in the car apparently the light wasn't on so I think it was only because I just haven't driven my car in a week and maybe it was really cold here in Austin I really don't know what happened but at least I didn't have to pay more than the emissions test because when I saw the light I was just like oh god here comes another expense um, so yeah thankful for that now I have to actually get my car registered, which I'm just dreading, um, but I'll hopefully do that, I don't know about tomorrow, but maybe on Monday, so, or Tuesday, maybe Tuesday. Yeah. I'm back home, as you can tell, the laundry is going. I have a couple more loads to do too. My goal for the end of the year is to make my apartment super freaking organized and super freaking clean. So I'm gonna be starting in the kitchen today, and I'm just gonna, like, just trash everything we don't need anymore. If there's like moldy stuff, if there's like stuff in the fridge from weeks ago, I'm gonna throw it out, clean the dishes and all that. Um, just organize a little bit more, especially in like the common area. So let's do this. So this is after I cleaned out my pantry. It looks a lot better, a little less cluttered. We don't really have anywhere else to put this vacuum, so peek it out. So we just slide it in the pantry. That's pretty good. But yeah, I cleaned out that, and I actually cleaned out the fridge. I mean, it's probably not the greatest, but um, I cleaned the shelves, so it's all nice and clear instead of, I don't even know, foggy and gross. Um, I didn't really touch all that. I mean, I threw out a good amount of stuff, so Ryan's gonna have to take out some heavy trash, but still need to clean up in here. Still messy, still got the laundry going. My hair is a mess right now, but Ryan just um, came home for lunch and he just left. He works like pretty close to home. I don't know if I've said it in my vlogs before, but usually he does come home for lunch. What the frick is my hair doing? Um, I am currently folding laundry, putting it away, and you know, that's always a fun time. I even told Ryan I was just feeling like I was craving cleaning and just like doing house stuff. And I don't know, I haven't done it in like a week and it's nice to just be at home and be back in a routine and just do all the things you need to do, but I do definitely have so much work on my laptop right now. But I wanna clean now, get it over with, and have like that mindset of like, okay, my house is clean, like I don't have anything to do, now I can work, you know? So I'm just trying to get it all done, and then hopefully I'll have time to work today, I don't even know. This shit will probably take up my whole day. I definitely need to put away like all my clothes. There's like so many clothes on my um, guest bed because I was like obviously packing to go back home and I like threw all of the other clothes that I didn't want to take there. So I have a lot of cleaning still to do and it's 1 p.m. <laughs> but I mean, I think I've gotten a lot done today so I'm proud of myself, but yeah, just gotta crank out this laundry, clean up the whole house and I'll feel better about myself, especially tomorrow. So I put on makeup, um, I'm actually gonna go to a Kendra Scott event. I've been seeing like it posted everywhere, like I follow so many awesome pages so I thought I would just like stop by. Um, they have like a psychic and I'm very intrigued by like readings and palm readings and I don't know how like serious it is. I low-key don't wanna get it done if it's like super serious stuff but I'm guessing it would just be like a quick like psychic reading. So <laughs> I'm kinda interested in getting that done. Um, I'm just going and seeing what is up at the Kendra Scott flagship. If you guys um, come to visit Austin, y'all need to go to the Kendra Scott flagship because it's so cute. They have the best rosé. Obviously, you can shop the Kendra Scott jewelry and like 
I feel like it's not just for sorority girls anymore. Well, it never was, but it was definitely a big thing in like sorority world, um, especially like when I was a freshman. But I mean, it still probably is, honestly. But what I'm saying is they have really cute jewelry, like other than the like preppy looking stuff. Like they have like a lot of gold jewelry and like just, you know, the normal trendy stuff. So I'm just getting ready for that. Um, I really don't want to do much to my hair, but I did want to try out this new product. This is from Playa, and if you guys saw my work week in my life, I went to their event here in Austin, and they gifted us some goodies. So this one is the New Day Mist. Basically just like apparently smooths creases and restores style. So as you can tell, I have a lot of creases. My hair's been in a bun for like so long. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> kind of does look good after I brush it. Ugh, my hair is so gross. Sometimes, like when I know I'm going Orange Theory, like the next day, and I'm gonna wash my hair, I'm just like, why do anything to it? Why style it if it's just gonna get washed and the style is not gonna be there? Okay, it kind of did take out those creases a little bit. That's kind of like cool. My hair looks so dry right now, too. Uh, I was honestly kind of scared that that product would make my hair look a little bit greasy, but I don't think it did. I mean, I think my hair is a little bit greasy already. Um, I also want to put in this Playa um, Ritual Hair Oil. Super cute. Okay, dropper. I don't want to do too much, but... I always get so many questions about like what I use on my hair to make it shiny, but I don't really use that many products. I honestly think it's just my jeans, so shout out to my mom and dad for giving me the shiny hair gene. <laughs> I just remembered that I save like a lot of like cool hairstyles on my Instagram, so I think I'm just gonna take a look through there and see if there are any hairstyles that I can do. So I just did my hair, and I'm actually kind of in love with it. Um, I just did a braid, I probably doesn't look that great from the back, but I just did a braid and looped it over here. So I can't really like move that much because my hair is like bobby pinned, and there's like a little tail of the braid here. <laughs> so I'm trying to like hide that with the hair over here. Um, but I, well now they're in my hair, but I'll try to put a picture of the twisty bobby pins that I use that literally is finally holding up my hair, which braids never hold up in my hair. And I actually curled my hair and I didn't like love the look of it, so I used my favorite. This is literally the only like hair product I really use. Um, this is the texturizing hairspray from Way, and I should probably get more of this because I, eh. I need to get more when I'm actually running low. I have a really bad habit of like getting more because I think it's running low and then just having that product sit there and like I'll use it but it's not like actually done, you know? Um, but yeah, this is my hair. Um, and now I have to find out what I'm gonna wear. Probably something super simple because I'm just gonna like stop by. I mean, I don't think I'll be out too late because me and Ryan are gonna like eat at home. So this is the outfit of the night. The shirt is, well, this is a bodysuit. It's from Forever 21. The pants are from Boohoo, I think. Shoes are from like a boutique and this sweater is from Layden. Um, and I really don't even know if this outfit goes together. And looking at it now, I really don't think it does. But we're just gonna roll with it. I'm probably gonna get some hate comments from Ryan, but. <laughs> He always makes comments that he could like style me better, which is totally true. He literally has way better the style than me, but I tried Snapchatting him and he wouldn't answer. Obviously he's at work, but still. <laughs> so this is the outfit right now. I'm not sure if I mentioned to you guys, but these jeans barely fit me during my like weight gain over the summer. And now they are fitting not only like fine because it's so weird like I got home and I was so scared of the scale like after Thanksgiving break I literally lost weight during Thanksgiving break because I wasn't around like 
my food at home and like I wasn't really snacking all that much. So I actually lost weight, which is amazing because these jeans fit even better now. Um, so that's great and I'm feeling really good. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I just took this little stinker outside. But just waiting for Ryan to get home and then we're just going to stop by Kendra Scott. By the way, I am wearing Kendra Scott jewelry right now. These are literally my favorite hoops ever. They have like sparkles on them. I didn't think I would wear them that much when I got them, but I literally wear them all the time. Like these are my hoops of choice. And then I have this ring on. And you can actually make your own like rings at the color bar there. So I got this one done a while ago. So I am with Ryan now. I think the chain was dropped. <laughs> like she's gonna understand that. I can't get yeah, it no. me. Directions to Kendra Scott. We are on our way to Kendra Scott right what now. Um, and I just found out that there's five dollar the frosés and I was totally gonna get a frosé so pumped about that. I had to put my head into this cross here to pick my head into Alan's boots just to smell it. I miss the smell. <laughs> On South Congress, walk into Kendra Scott. Do you like to do the rose or do you want to do the rose? Um, can we get one of each and then we can just try it? Of course. Yes. Okay. Like apparently you blow out this candle and you like wish on something and she basically just like reads your wish. I don't know, I guess I'll talk about it more after. But very intrigued and it'll be interesting. I'm home from the Kendra Scott event. I ended up not really getting anything at Kendra Scott, but it was a fun event. Um, the smoke reading, let me explain that to you. So basically we blew out a candle and we wish on the candle and she was supposed to like read into your wish. So I just kind of, I mean, vaguely, I wished for like more success in 2020. I was being very like short with her. I wanted to see, you know, if it was real, if she could actually read me. So I wasn't really talking that much and I wasn't trying to give her any hints or anything, but it was just so awkward. Like she was basically saying, Stuff so vague like the first thing she said was oh you've been like working towards this wish you've been wanting to um, have this happen for a while like it's not something that just like happened all of a sudden and like obviously I feel like that's a lot of people's wishes like you don't just wish for like something like a car I don't know well I guess you could but anyways so that's the first thing she said and then um, she she kept saying actually i forgot to tell you this ryan she kept saying something about like i'll go into like a design something or another like i'll take my career into like design yeah, yeah before i said i was a photographer so i started giving her hints because it was that awkward and like so like silent and like i don't know it was just like too awkward for me and i wanted it to like last more because i wanted to like hear what she had to say but i also didn't want to like you know, give into it or whatever. Um, so I told her I was a photographer. She said that, oh, I could tell like when you sat down that you were gonna make it. Like, of course, like that's something vague to tell someone. Like, obviously you can make it in a lot of, well, pretty much every job you get a promotion. So you can really make it anywhere. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. I just, I was kind of sad because I really wanted to like believe in it because all of the other like readings and like tarot card readings I've done um, before were so like spot, not spot on, but just like I could see happening very accurate. Um, so I really wanted to like believe in it, but Ryan was like over here just not believing in it at all. So I was just like, mm, I don't know about this now. But right now we are watching the new Leah Michelle movie. Um, it's premiering on ABC tonight and it actually looks like a good movie. So I thought we would watch it today because um, it's a Christmas movie. And I'm gonna take my makeup off and end the vlog here. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, especially subscribe and also turn on your post notifications so you can be notified on other vlogs and other videos. And I will see y'all in my next vlog. Bye.